Okay, so you've created your ArtSteps account and you received a confirmation email from them and you must click on that uh, to move forward. So uh, once you've done that, you can log into Art, Art Steps, <clears throat> then come up here into the upper right corner for Create. So this is taking a moment to load. This is a big program. If you have VR goggles, you can look at the museums with the uh, VR goggles. Um, so uh, sometimes it might take a little while to save or it might take a little time to do something. So it's just an opportunity to be patient and take some of those nice uh, deep breaths. So we're going to start off with defining our space. I'm going to ask you to please uh, create your own museum. There are some exhibition templates here, but I really want you to create your own museum from the ground up. So you can have that producer mindset that you're creating something on your own rather than consuming someone else's template. So we're going to start by coming up to construction tools and place some walls. So I can just click and drag to make a wall. I, my cursor is that little trial, trowel icon. And then I want to come out from this wall. You can see that little magenta line. So that means I'm lined up with the end of that wall. So I can click and drag out like so. I can click over here like so. And when I'm coming in this direction, when that magenta line appears, it means I'm squared up with that other wall. And so then I can just click and make my square like so. Also, I encourage you to experiment with just making a wall on the interior. And you can have walls at an angle like that if you wish. Oops, oh darn, I just made that wall by mistake right there. To delete a wall, I'll come back over here. I'll click on my... Actually, things seem a little frozen right here. Okay, so it just auto-saved. Sometimes you need to click the green button to auto-save, to save, but auto-save just came on. So now I'm back with my tools. So again, if anything is weird or if things freeze, click save or also come up here and with this is with Chrome, but reload the page or refresh your page. Okay, so back to, I've got this wall right here, an unintended wall. Um, if, if I have my start placing walls selected, if I come over here, I'll just add another wall. But if I unclick it, and then, so <clears throat> I'm, hold on. So I'm not in the mode I would need to click to start placing walls. Now, if I click on here, on my unwanted wall, I get delete wall. So I can click that and delete it. Okay, so I have my walls and it's now time to place a door. So I can click on the door icon to start placing doors. And I have my trowel again. And I can place a door here in the middle. I might put it off to the side here so when visitors come in they'll see that wall. And I click right there. So there's a door, but we don't see anything that looks like a door. See that little door icon right there? So once again, I'll just come up here and uh, click Save. So now you can see uh, whoops, that a door appeared right there. Uh, hold on. Alrighty. Now, you can also on the inside, if I place a door on an inside wall like this, what it means is it just creates a walkway. That it won't create an actual door like that, uh, but it will create a walkway. Okay, so we defined our space. Now we're going to design. I like it. We define and then we design. So with designing the space, uh, you can put colors on the walls. Let me see, I'm going to maybe take this nice pale blue here. And now my cursor is that little paint roller. And then I can just swing around and if I want 
the wall on the other side that same color. I can also, uh, let's see, maybe I'll have some a deeper blue around the edges. You know, you can just experiment with colors of what you want to do. So I've put color on my walls. The other thing, the other options you have is you can add textures. Now there are some textures like this one. Uh, hold on. Let me just get uh, inside uh, inside my museum right here. There's a texture like this one, which is rough paint. So if I click on the floor, I've got rough peeling paint on my floor. So that probably doesn't make sense. It's kind of a cool effect, but would you want someone to walk into a museum and maybe get a splinter um, from your floor? So say on the floor, I'm just gonna pick a, a pattern like this. I can also on the outside of my museum, say I could put bricks if I wanted to. And I can always, if I wanna change it up, as long as I have my little paint roller there, you know, and then you'd maybe want to on the other sides of muse museums have cons other outside walls have consistency there. So one thing I just want to back up just a little bit right here is um, when we're in define, there's this little start icon right here. And you need to be careful depending on where you make your walls if your start icon is right like this, when a muse museum visitor comes to your museum, they'll be facing an outside wall and they won't know where to go. So I'm just going to bring this over here. So when a museum a visitor comes to my museum, they'll be coming, they'll be starting right outside the door. So we did define, we did design, and now it's time to add and place your artifacts or your art into your museum. Okay, I'm just going to um, click on refresh right now. Sometimes I do save, sometimes refresh. I'm gonna reload this page. I just wanna make sure I have all the options that I wanna see. Again, it's taking a little time to load. You can always do a nice deep breath. Okay. And you'll sometimes get these little ads to support art steps. So you can add images, videos, 3D objects, text. We'll get to text a little bit later. But right now we're just working on the basics of, of adding an image. Now I just noticed right here that it, it didn't save where I put my little start icon. So sometimes that doesn't always save. So just uh, I'll move that over there again. Okay, so how do we add an image? Um, just for this, this first experimenting, let's go over uh, and take a look at a wakelet. Uh, this is my uh, museum collection wakelet. And say I want to add this image right here. Well, I've already, uh, you know, if I've already clicked on this, so it takes me to the website and what I need you to do is to do a screenshot of the image. For whatever reason with Art Steps, if we come here to click on Add Image, you can add it from Flickr, but that's, that's that photo sharing site that won't have the images you want. Um, you can add it from a file or from a URL. I found the URL isn't consistent and spoke with other people about that. So what we need to do is add an image file. So as I mentioned, uh, just however with your computer, you wanna do a screen, don't take a picture of your screen, but use your internal computer, however it works with your computer, to just screenshot the image. And then once we're in Art Steps, we're gonna do File. I'll click right here. And I already screenshotted it, I had it ready to go. So there's the image, it previews, all is good. And then this is really important. I'll come back here. This is why I wanted all the information in here. Uh, oops, looks like her name is repeated. Um, you'll copy all this information, come back to Art Steps, <clears throat> put it in the title, 
And then the other thing that's really important is to come back here and I'm going to select this URL because I want to give credit to where I got the image from. So I'll come back to Art Steps and say image source uh, Smith Sonian uh, American Art Museum. And then I'll just paste in that URL. So we're giving proper credit to the museum. And then I'll do save. Audio, we'll get into this later, but you can add descriptive curatorial audio tracks to the images. Oh, this program, I just love it. So we've added the image. I'll just add another one just to show you this. Again, I've already done the screenshot. So I'll just choose this image. I'll come back to my wakelet. It's this next image right here. I'll copy all the information for the title field, paste it in. I already have the URL right here. And so I can say image source Museum of Modern oops, Art and paste in that URL. Okay, so I have my two images here. I have um, added all the proper information to them. And then what I wanna do right now is hit refresh. Because anytime I add a new image or text or anything, I need to hit refresh or reload or whatever your browser page is, just to kind of adds in all the text, it solidifies it, it has them all set and ready to go. Okay, so now you've defined your space, you designed it, and now we're going to add some uh, artifacts here. We're gonna add some objects. Um, I have found that um, uh, when we're in add in place, I can view it like this. I can also click up here on switch view and I find switch view is easier to work with um, that it shows me my museum. And now say if I click to open the door, it, right now it's closed so I can click to um, open the door. And then when I'm in this view mode right here, you can see I have little footsteps with my cursor. So if I click right here, it takes me into the museum. And say, for example, I want to add an image on this wall right here. Uh, let me get a more lined up on the wall. So I'm using my cursor. I can also use my arrows to navigate around. Um, I can click with my little feet to move over here. Okay. So I come over here, I do add image. So I click right there and there's the red box around the image and I can just drag it over to the wall. Okay, there we go. Now, a couple of things. First of all, we can see that that image is just uh, too big. It's coming off the sides of that piece of the wall. I also, right now, I can't see all the tools that I need. Um, okay, it just saved. So my tools have come up here. And so there's one tool right here called Scale. So if I click on Scale, I can scale it down like so. I can also click on Move and, you know, move it around up and down how I want. Don't click the blue one, because if you do the blue arrow, it'll move it away from the wall. Um, also right here, I can choose frames. So I could do a black and white frame, or ooh, I like that gold one. And once I added the frame, it looks like it's a little big in there, so I can go back to scale, bring it down just a little bit, and um, I'm good to go. Okay, so I've added that image, and then I can maybe come over to this wall here, click on the image, pull it out, click to put it on the wall, 
and then now that one to me looks a little bit small so I can um, click on scale scale it up a little bit now I don't want it too big I don't want it to be super close to the floor but say about like this and also I realized I should have put the frame on it so I'm gonna go with gold again for consistency and then I can go to move move it up you know I, I could I wanted to move it wherever so I put it right there okay so I've added my two images and um, yeah if you click on it it opens it up I'm just gonna hit save right there and what we can do right now is to just take a look right here it says preview off so if I click on this my preview will come on and I can go into my museum and now if I click on one of the artworks you can double check your work you've got the title and you've got the image source if I click back to preview right now it's preview on if I click on there and it takes me to preview off it does bring me back to defining we define we design we added the images um, step four is plan a guided tour <clears throat> that that's something that that you can do later on but it's not a requirement so we do one two three four and then we get to publish so a couple of things here um, for the cover image I can go inside my museum say right here and if I click on capture it will just take a, a shot from where I'm standing in the museum and then with the public information I can say test museum and then you need to choose at least one tag to go with it and now this is so important right here you want to click on show in art steps there's a few things these are vital steps right here one click to show in art steps then come over here and click publish okay so it's saved it's it's good to go then what you can do is you can come over here to this little icon which is your profile and click on my profile so here you are on your profile I have a museum here that's set to private make sure that yours is shown in art steps and it's not set to private that's just so important so when you submit the link I can see it then um, as always click the refresh button up here just to make sure that all the links and everything um, is set and then come down here and click right on test museum and what you do I mean that was the uh, sorry let me back up for a little that was the name of my museum so whatever you name your museum click on it for test museum whatever your museum title is click right here and what it has is the this best link that's going to take us right to the museum or it says view right there and then that's the hyperlink I mean that's the link that you want to submit as a hyperlink just one last thing if you are in this mode right here you can click on these dots to uh, if you want to go in and edit your museum